In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can connect a Linux Mint virtual machine on a VirtualBox to a Wi-Fi or wireless network. Now we'll start by making one setting change before we boot up the machine. So this is the Linux Mint virtual machine and it's on my uh, uh, VirtualBox. So I'll right click on the machine and go to settings. Then we'll go to network. Then under adapter one attached to, we just want to make sure yes, we have a bridged adapter selected. Once that's done, you can click OK and then we'll start this machine. I just click on start and I'll come back once it's booted up. So the virtual machine has powered up and uh, I've logged into it. So I'm at the desktop here. We can check the IP address we currently have. We can go to uh, network settings here. And as you can see, we only have wired, and this is the IP. We can also check using the terminal. We can use IP address command. And as you can see, we only have two interfaces, loopback 0 and uh, ENP0S3, which has this IP address. So as we can see, there's no Wi-Fi uh, adapter on this uh, machine. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my uh, USB-based wireless adapter so this will be connected to the host machine. So I'll connect the USB uh, wireless adapter. Now in order to make the changes, the settings changes, we'll need to move to windowed mode. So I'll have to move out of the scaled mode. So to move out of the scaled mode, uh, press Ctrl and C. So we're in the windowed mode. Now uh, we can click on devices and then go to USB. And then we need to select the name of the wireless adapter or your, or your Wi-Fi adapter. And uh, you might want to verify that it's been checked. Uh, you can do this twice. If you get an error message saying can't attach USB device, you can just ignore it. Uh, let's check again here and we have a check mark next to our Wi-Fi adapter here. So let's go ahead and go back to scaled mode. So let's switch back to scaled mode so control c right control and c and switch so we'll open our network settings again so network and this time as you can see we have wi-fi listed here and also any wi-fi within your range should be shown here and we have wi-fi enabled if we open the terminal and do IP address. We should see the Wi-Fi adapter or wireless adapter that was added. And at this moment, we don't have an IP. So let's go ahead and select. You'll need to select whatever Wi-Fi you want to connect to. In this case, this is the one I want to connect to. So right now it's spinning and there is a window that popped up. So this window that popped up, it's asking for password for this uh, Wi-Fi network. So I'll go ahead and put in the password. Once we have input the password, we just click on connect and it's spinning again. And we have a check mark next to the name of your Wi-Fi network. We'll check to see if we have an IP address. Let's minimize this, go back to the terminal. Clear IP address. And this time we have an IP address we pulled uh, via DHCP, the 192.168.1.176. And if we minimize this and go back to the network settings here, and next to, to the right of this, name of where Wi-Fi there's this gear icon this is for the settings you can click on it and here you should see the IP address you're pulling DNS information as well so we are pulling that IP this is the default gateway and this is the DNS information I've received from the default gateway and on the left here you have more settings uh, such as a password, you can change your password or show the password. 
Uh, you can change the type of security you want to use. Set up for DHCP. You have DNS in information. You can you can also change DNS here. You have IPv6 and then uh, the option to reset or forget. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this is helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.